Texan Global School Laws of Exponents The laws of exponents are definitions that serve to simplify products or quotients between algebraic expressions. The first definition indicates that every number raised to the nth power is equivalent to multiplying that number n a number of times. The second law indicates that every number raised to zero is equal to one. The third law indicates that every number a raised to the first power is equivalent to that same number a. Let's look at the first example. We will perform the following operations using the definitions mentioned. Three squared can be expressed as three times three, which results in nine. Four cubed can be represented as four times four times four. We associate and perform four times four, resulting 16. Finally, we multiply 16 times four, which gives us six to four. Two raised to the fourth power can be expressed as two times two times two times two. We also associate factors two by two, resulting 16. In the fourth example, nine raised to zero, by definition, is one. Finally, 17 raised to the first power by definition is 17. The following definition indicates that every number a raised to the negative 1 equals 1 over a. Hence, we have the following definition that indicates that every number a raised to the negative n is equivalent to 1 over a raised to n. Let's look at another example. We will also perform the operations given. 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half using the definition. Similarly, 3 to the negative 1 is 1 third. x to the negative 1 is 1 over x. The product, w, y to the negative 1, equals 1 over that same product, w, y. The product 5, a, b, c raised to the negative 1 equals 1 over 5, a, b, c. The square root of 3t raised to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over the square root of 3t. 3 to the negative 2 equals 1 over 3 squared or 1 ninth. 4 to the negative 3 equals 1 over 4 cubed or 1 64th. Finally, 2 raised to the negative 4 is equal to 1 over 2 raised to the 4th power or 1 16th. It is important to emphasize that the laws apply only to exponents. No alteration appears to the signs of the coefficients. The following definition indicates that the product of two numbers with the same base a and positive exponents is equivalent to simplifying the base and making the sum of its exponents. Let's look at another example. 2 squared times 2 to the fifth power can be simplified with this definition. Add its exponents, 2 plus 5, and it reduces to a single base. In this way, we have 2 to the seventh power, which develops with the previous formulas. Hence, we obtain 128. The second example is 3 squared times 3. We simplify to the same base 3 raised to the sum of the exponents 2 plus 1. So, it is 3 cubed, which equals 27. Finally, x to the 8th power times x to the 10th power is simplified as x to 18 by adding the exponents. In this way, the definition is deduced where the product of two numbers with the same base a and exponents with opposite signs is equivalent to simplifying the base and making the difference of its exponents. In the following example, we see that 2 raised to the 5th times 2 raised to the negative 3 is simplified as 2 raised to the square, obtaining a result of 4. The following example, 3 raised to the negative 2 times 3 equals 3 to the negative 1 which is one-third, using previous definitions. Finally, w raised to 14 times w to the negative 9, simplified, results in w raised to the fifth power. This other law of exponents indicates that a number raised to the m raised to the n power is equivalent to the product of the exponents m times n. Performing the operations given in the following example, we can see that 2 squared cubed can be simplified with this definition. We then multiply the exponents, thus obtaining 2 raised to the 6th power. Developing, we obtain 6 to 4. The other exercise, t to the 4th raised to the 5th power, multiplying its exponents by definition, is equivalent to t raised to the 20th power. In the last exercise, we can see that w raised to the 7th to the 8th power is equivalent to w raised to the 56th power. 
The following definition indicates that the product of two different bases raised to the nth power is equivalent to raising each base with the same exponent n. In the following example, we can see that the product x, y squared by definition multiplies the exponents of each variable by the exponent to which the entire product is raised. With this, we get x squared, y squared as result. The product 2 squared times 3, all cubed, multiplying the exponents of each base equals 2 raised to the 6th power times 3 cubed. Then 2 to the 6th is equal to 6 to 4 and 3 cubed 27. Finally, the product of these two numbers is 1728. In the last example, the product of a to the 4th times b to the 5th all raised to the 5th multiplying exponents. It is the same with a raised to the 20th power times b raised to the 25th power. This law of exponents indicates that the quotient of two different bases raised to the nth power is equivalent to raising each base with the same exponent n. We will apply this law of exponents in the following exercises. In the first operation, the quotient x over y squared, applying this law multiplies the exponents of each base, resulting in x squared over y squared. In the example, 2 squared over 3, all cubed, we multiply exponents of each base. So, we have 2 to the 6th power over 3 cubed. Developing, we use previous definitions, obtaining a result of 64 over 27. Finally, the quotient, a to the 4th over b to the 5th, raised everything to the 5th power. After multiplying exponents, we get a result of a raised to the 20th power over b to the 25th power. The following law indicates that the quotient of two equal bases is equivalent to the product of the base of the dividend with the base of the divisor, but the latter with a negative exponent. Let's see some examples to apply this law. The first operation is 2 cubed over 2. Divisor 2 is raised to the first power. Then this operation can be expressed as 2 cubed times 2 raised to the negative 1. We subtract the exponents and get 2 squared, which is 4. Of course, we could cube the number 2, thus obtaining 8, and then dividing it by 2, bringing the same result of 4. However, the objective is to show that the formulas can be applied without altering the output. In the second example, x raised to the fifth over x cubed, using this law, can be represented as x the fifth times x to the negative 3. Subtracting exponents, we obtain that the result of the operation is x squared. Finally, a cubed b, c the fourth over, a, b, c cubed. To simplify, we apply this law. Then we raise the bases of the divisor with the opposite sign, thus obtaining a cubed times a to the negative 1 times b, times b to the negative 1, times c to the fourth, times c to the negative 3. Performing the difference of the exponents, we obtain a squared times b raised to 0 times c to 1. Then, applying previous laws, we get a result of a squared times c. This last law indicates that the quotient of two equal bases is equal to 1 over the product of the base of the divisor with the base of the dividend, but the latter with a negative exponent. In this last example, the quotient of 7 squared over 7 raised to the fourth power can be simplified using this law. Then we have 1 over 7 to the fourth times 7 to the negative 2. Subtracting exponents, we simplify as 1 over 7 squared. Finally, we get 1 49th. The c to the 8th power over c to the 13th power simplifies as 1 over c to the 13 times z to the negative 8. Subtracting exponents, we obtain a result of 1 over c raised to the 5th power. Finally, w cubed x to the 4th, y over w to the 5th, x to the 7th, y, is simplified as 1 over w to the 5th times w to the negative 3, times x to the 7th power, times x to the negative 4, times y, times y to the negative 1. Subtracting exponents and simplifying previous definitions, we get a result of 1 over w squared times x cubed. It is important to note that the result of algebraic operations must be expressed with positive exponents and ordered. The summary of the laws of exponents is presented in this form as a support to apply them. 
Texan Global School Global Online Learning Knowledge for the World www.texanglobalschool.com